Let's get to Kayla Tausche. She is bringing us a special interview this morning. Kayla, good morning. Good morning. We are here in Washington with the Executive Vice President of the European Commission, Margaret Vestier. Good uh, morning. EVP Vestier, thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. We were just talking about antitrust. You are here in Washington for the White House's Summit for Democracy, and the administration had announced that um, with 10 countries, it was trying to coordinate policies on commercial spyware, surveillance, and data privacy. But there are 120 countries attending and even more countries who are not. So how much work is there still to do? There's a lot of work still to do. And we have quite a small window to make sure that we do not lose uh, the UN Charter of Human Rights. That is just, you know, a thing of the past. Once we get so much more digital, to make sure that we still have rights, we have privacy, we have protection, we have freedom. Uh, this is the work that needs to be done in these years. You are also meeting with the Commerce Secretary, the Treasury Secretary, and notably the two top antitrust chiefs in this country. Um, talk a little bit about the dialogue that you have with them and what it's yielded so far. We have something called the technology uh, competition policy uh, dialogue, and, and we discuss what what to do when markets change so dramatically? Because I have seen in my case work, you know, I've had not one, not two, but three Google cases, two open Apple cases. That it's really difficult to maintain that a digital market is open, is contestable, that small businesses have a real chance of, uh, of making it out there. So we discuss merger, we discuss misuse of market power, uh, and try to find ways in full respect, of course, of the fact that we have different legislation. And notably, um, both sides of the Atlantic have cases, as you mentioned, against Google, the Department of Justice suing Google earlier this year for monopolistic practices in digital advertising. Is that the first of many coordinated lawsuits we could expect? We have exactly the same case uh, looking into to these practices. Google has sort of the full ad tech stack, uh, and they are dominant. So trying to figure out how to make sure that this can be opened for others uh, also to have a, a fair chance in the advertising market. And of course, if we have the waivers, if we see the same behavior, I think actually by the end of the day, it's also beneficial for the companies to know that they don't face uh, different charges, but there is one approach uh, to illegal behavior. That's certainly one argument uh, to, be, to be made there. I'm wondering though if there are any specific industries or sub-industries um, that you and the DOJ and the FTC are currently evaluating. Well, we need, of course, to look ahead. Uh, now we have um, uh, virtual realities uh, coming up. Uh, we have Web3. Uh, we have uh, AI. That has become a thing at our fingertips. I think everyone has, has tested it uh, by now. So, of course, we need to, to push on uh, because we are on top of thing when it comes to killer acquisitions, uh, when it comes to, you know, gobbling up small companies. Uh, the misuse of market power. But of course we need to look ahead. How will market uh, develop uh, when you have widespread use of artificial intelligence? You've talked about the metaverse needing competition policy as well, but we've seen Disney, Microsoft, mm. many other companies pulling back their ambitions in the metaverse. It's just not as popular as they expected. So do you think that that was perhaps getting out too far ahead of where the market actually is? I think it will still take quite a number of years uh, before we think that uh, the metaverses or the virtual realities that they are a real thing. But I think we'll see it in many different sub-uses, uh, like in training, uh, for expertise, uh, in gaming. We have it uh, a lot uh, already. Uh, I think it's a good thing that there is a bit of sort of breathing space uh, in order to figure out how should this work and, and how to maintain our humanity uh, if we live more and more digital lives.